Did you know that coffee, your favorite morning pick-me-up, is loaded with health benefits? Yes, that's right. This beloved beverage, savored by many around the globe, offers more than just a caffeine kick to get your day started. Let's dive right into the key health benefits of coffee. One of the most significant advantages is its high antioxidant content. Antioxidants are substances that prevent or slow damage to cells caused by free radicals, unstable molecules that the body produces as a reaction to environmental and other pressures. So each time you're savoring your cup of joe, you're also helping to protect your body at a cellular level. But that's not all. Coffee also has the power to boost your cognitive function. The caffeine in coffee blocks an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain called adenosine. When this happens, the amount of other neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and dopamine increases, leading to enhanced firing of neurons. This process can lead to improved memory, mood, energy levels, and overall cognitive function. Essentially, your morning coffee is also a wake-up call for your brain. Now let's talk about disease prevention. Multiple studies suggest that coffee drinkers have a lower risk of developing certain diseases, including Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. In fact, coffee drinkers may have up to a 60% lower risk of Alzheimer's and dementia. And for Parkinson's, the reduction in risk ranges between 32 and 60%. And if you're on a weight loss journey, here's some good news. Coffee might help you there too. Some research points to coffee's ability to boost metabolism and aid in fat burning. So your daily coffee might be doing more for your waistline than you realize. In conclusion, coffee is a complex concoction that's more than just a tasty beverage. It's packed with antioxidants. It can enhance cognitive function, potentially reduce the risk of certain diseases, and it might even aid in weight loss. So the next time you sip your morning brew, remember, you're not just waking up, you're nourishing your body. But wait, is coffee always a good choice for everyone, every time? Let's take a moment to explore the darker aspects of our beloved brew. Like many things in life, coffee isn't all sunshine and rainbows. While it has its benefits, it also has potential downsides that are worth considering. One of the most noticeable effects of coffee is its ability to disrupt our sleep cycles. Yes, that morning cup can indeed give you the jumpstart you need, but when consumed late in the day, it can interfere with your ability to fall asleep at night. The caffeine in coffee blocks the action of a naturally occurring brain chemical called adenosine, which signals to our bodies that it's time to sleep. As a result, your much needed rest might be postponed or disrupted. Next, let's talk about digestion. While a cup of joe can help get things moving in the morning, too much can lead to digestive problems. Coffee is a strong stimulant for peristalsis, the contractions that move food through the digestive tract. Overstimulation can cause cramping, bloating, and even diarrhea, not exactly the most pleasant side effects. The caffeine content in coffee can also potentially lead to dependency. Regular coffee drinkers may find themselves unable to function properly without their morning cup, and withdrawal symptoms can include headaches, irritability, and fatigue. This reliance can be a slippery slope, especially for those who find themselves reaching for that extra cup more often than not. Lastly, it's important to note that coffee can exacerbate certain health conditions. For individuals with anxiety, the stimulating effects of caffeine can increase feelings of nervousness and jitteriness. And for those with high blood pressure, coffee can cause short-term spikes in blood pressure levels, which could be problematic if not managed properly. Therefore, while coffee can be a healthful beverage, it's not without its potential drawbacks. So, as with everything else, moderation is key. It's all about finding the right balance and understanding how coffee affects your individual body. After all, knowledge is power, even when it comes to your daily cup of joe. So, you might be wondering, how much coffee is too much coffee? Let's dive right in. The answer, as is often the case with matters of health, isn't a one-size-fits-all. It can vary depending on a multitude of factors like your age, weight, and overall health. To give you a general idea, health experts, like those from the Mayo Clinic, suggest that up to four 8-ounce cups of coffee per day is safe for most healthy adults. That's about 400 milligrams of caffeine, roughly the amount in two energy shot drinks. But remember, that's a general guideline. If you're pregnant, trying to become pregnant, or breastfeeding, or if you have heart problems, the safe amount might be lower. And let's not forget about our metabolisms. Some people can metabolize caffeine quickly, while others might find it lingering in their system for longer, 
causing insomnia or jitters. So what happens if you exceed this amount? Well, too much of a good thing can quickly turn sour. Excessive coffee consumption can lead to a variety of negative side effects. This might include restlessness, insomnia, and a fast heartbeat. You might also experience stomach upset, nausea, or even muscle tremors. In severe cases, overconsumption can lead to dependency and withdrawal symptoms like headache, fatigue, and irritability when the caffeine wears off. While coffee can offer some fantastic health benefits, it's crucial to remember that these benefits can easily be overshadowed by the negatives if we're not mindful of our intake. It's all about balance. Coffee is like a powerful spice in your dietary arsenal. You wouldn't want to eat a meal composed solely of chili flakes, right? The same principle applies to coffee. A cup or two can help to kickstart your day, improve your mood, and even provide some antioxidants. But it's when we start to over-rely on coffee, drinking it throughout the day to keep us going, that it can start to cause problems. Remember, when it comes to coffee, moderation is key. How can we enjoy the benefits of coffee while minimizing its potential drawbacks? Let's delve into the art of drinking coffee mindfully, a practice that can enhance our coffee experience while also looking after our health. Drinking coffee mindfully is all about savoring the beverage. It's not simply a matter of gulping down a cup of joe to kickstart your day. It's about appreciating the rich, complex flavors that each cup of coffee holds. Feel the warmth of the cup in your hands. Take a moment to inhale the aroma, let it waft over you. When you take that first sip, let it linger in your mouth, allowing your taste buds to explore the subtle notes and textures. This isn't just about enjoying your coffee more, it's also about slowing down, about taking this small moment for yourself in an otherwise hectic day. But mindful drinking doesn't stop at savoring. It's also about being aware of how much you're consuming. Coffee in moderation can be a wonderful addition to our day. But when consumed excessively, it can lead to restlessness, insomnia, and other health issues. Being mindful means understanding your personal limit and sticking to it. It's about finding that sweet spot where you can enjoy the benefits of coffee without tipping over into the drawbacks. For those who may be sensitive to caffeine, there are alternatives that can still offer a satisfying experience. Decaffeinated coffee provides the same rich flavors without the caffeine. Herbal teas, too, can be a great option with a wide variety of flavors and health benefits to explore. But always remember, it's not just about what you're drinking, but how you're drinking it. Whether it's coffee, decaf, or herbal tea, the key is to savor, to appreciate, and to be mindful. With a bit of mindfulness, we can enjoy our coffee to the fullest. So the next time you reach for your cup of coffee, remember to slow down, savor, and truly enjoy the moment. So, what have we learned about coffee today? We've journeyed through the intriguing world of coffee, discovering its health benefits, potential downsides, the recommended daily intake, and the concept of mindful drinking. Let's take a moment to reflect on our caffeinated voyage. We began our expedition with the health benefits of coffee. We learned that it's more than just a delightful morning beverage. Coffee is packed with antioxidants, which can help to fight inflammation and boost your immune system. It's also been linked to a reduced risk of certain diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Plus, the caffeine in coffee can enhance physical performance and mental alertness. But remember, like all good things, moderation is key. Then we ventured into the dark side of coffee. We learned that while it has many benefits, it's not without its potential pitfalls. Too much coffee can lead to sleep disturbances, anxiety, and digestive problems. It's crucial to listen to your body and adjust your coffee intake accordingly. We then tackled the question, how much is too much? The answer is not one size fits all. It depends on factors like your body's caffeine tolerance and your overall health. However, a general guideline is to limit yourself to three to four cups a day. Any more than that, and you might be pushing into the danger zone. Finally, we explored the art of drinking coffee mindfully. This isn't just about savoring the taste, it's about appreciating the experience of drinking coffee. By being present in the moment, you can transform your daily coffee routine into a calming, mindful ritual. This not only enhances the enjoyment of your coffee, but also contributes to your overall well-being. The next time you brew a cup, remember these points and you'll be on your way to a healthier, happier coffee experience.